Hi, um, welcome to my new Let's Play for State of Decay. And with me on this inaugural video is Skippy Granola. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I really like that uh, that logo. I want that it's on my truck. It's a good logo. It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, America, but also guns. Also kind of a skull. That's that's kind of neat. Oh wow, I didn't even notice that before. That's yeah. definitely like a... You're awesome. Oh, thank you. It's <laughs> so bad. I'm just really good at noticing skulls. You are. It's because you're obsessed with death. Yes. <laughs> Whoa! That dude's getting owned! He is. He's actually doing okay. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's got a table leg. Um, so this is the start of the game. It just throws you right in there. Um, I'm just, you know, letting him... Oh. There we go. I'll help you. He's... Oh! <laughs> God, that's so juicy! Okay? It's a very juicy game. Um... That's Ed. He looks old. I don't really know how old he's supposed to be. Did one of those things bite him, or...? <laughs> he started to change. Apparently not, but, you know. He's an accountant. I hear that ages you prematurely. <laughs> not me, I look fresh as a daisy. Uh, the other guy's Marcus, and he's kind of the main character, but you can actually kill these guys after the tutorial. Um, I'm not gonna go through all these, but the journal is sort of a video game journal. And if you read through these, it basically just says they were on a two-week, like, camping and fishing trip, and they didn't bring their phones, and now they're back. Of course they didn't bring their phones. No, of course not. Well, it's not gonna work out on the middle of the lake, I guess. Oh, I like that they have an attitude. <laughs> yeah, they do. Assertive. And that will change. We'll we'll actually see that throughout the game. People will be like worried, depressed. Um fighting. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Choke <-all. laughs> <laughs> That's fucking teamwork. Good job, it boys. It is good teamwork. I don't know why he doesn't chokehold everybody, but you know, whatever. Because yeah. he got to just kick that zombie lady in the crotch like four <laughs> times. I like how they went from, you know, wow, these two guys are crazy, to let's kill all of them. You know, but, like, that just, guy wasn't bothering anybody. <laughs> he was just sitting there eating a human torso. He was. <clears throat> I didn't want to participate in that. <laughs> hey, man, you gonna, you gonna eat that, or...? <laughs> so, the game is trying to introduce you to basic concepts. Um... We're heading up to the ranger station, but they want us to sneak past these guys. And you can do sneak kills from behind them, but Ed has another idea, I guess. <laughs> He's just like, fuck stealth! <laughs> this is awesome! You see the way his head went up? <laughs> it's like a melon! <laughs> hey Marcus, check it out, I'm Gallagher! <laughs> Like, I didn't realize that skulls were so fragile, but you're the skull expert, so I don't know, maybe you can tell me. Um, well, it, it really depends with on, on what you hit a skull with. Um, a but table you leg? Know, I mean, a table leg would do some damage, but to actually explode a skull, you'd have to hit it with an incredible amount of force. Or like that! How is that even? <laughs> Good time. You know what I think? I think zombies, like, when you get zombied up, it makes your mm -hmm. bones uh, turn into a form of cracker. Oh, yeah, that's good. Like a mushy cracker. Yeah, totally. So just like, you turn into a water balloon, essentially. <laughs> a blood balloon, though. Yeah, like a bloody <laughs> water balloon. So there's leavens. Somebody had a water balloon fight. <laughs> stop. <laughs> no, I mean, don't stop. <laughs> I mean, they stripped them down. They fucking skeletonized <laughs> these guys. That is really impressive. They're hungry. When, when you think of the amount of meat on a human being... That's a lot, you know. I mean, that's a big meal. Yeah, it is. So now I'm going to properly sneak up on this guy. Normally, the people who are following you will try and sort of do what you're doing. Um, or just keep yelling. Except the, the curb is foiling Marcus. He can't crouch up the curb. So, <laughs> oh, let's try that again. Get over this curb. <laughs> and now apparently he's too close to the wall to do the stealth attack. So you know, whatever. <laughs> so you just kick him. Ah. Uh. Um, you'll notice actually down in the corner of the map, there's oh. little, there's like a little blue circle 
when yes. you make noise. Oh, okay. And so if you make a loud noise, it makes a big circle. So you have to keep an eye on that. So sometimes you can sneak right past a zombie, but then if you make a noise, they'll hear you. And that will, will, will keep seeing that. But if you're making noise, keep an eye on that. I don't know why I waited out there. Probably it was... To explain the, explain. the sound circle. I am. <laughs> Man, can anybody tell me what the hell is going on? So, they're talking now. There's this is the talky parts. I, I figure if people really care about this stuff, they can just read it. So we can talk over it. Or do. play the game themselves. I like Absolutely. this guy's shirt. With the, with the cross pocket. It's it's a uh, contrast. It's very fashion. It's also open pretty deep. He's got a bit of a décolletage going on. I don't know if that's another shirt or if that's just brawny chest hair. <laughs> he looks like the type who would expose his chest hair. He probably had to drop his <laughs> he had to drop his gold chain because it was slowing him down. So he didn't actually tell us what was going on. He just said he's got wounded people and we have to go. Um, just Sorry. check the place out for other survivors. They won't talk to us. I like his bold spot. <laughs> Shows he's a real everyman. It's the little things. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why he's up in the cabin. <laughs> hey, yo! Yeah, you have a lot of friends. Uh, yeah, except we can't actually switch to any of them. Um, there's various information within that, but that's just an overview of who they are. Um, we'll come back to these guys later. And he has also invited us to take any supplies. Oh, right, I'm showing that you can barricade windows, which is almost completely useless. Except in, uh, like, one situation. Although that's a hell of a good trick, producing boards from nowhere. Yeah, and he... He's nailing him on the wrong side, though. <laughs> but <laughs> really, the zombie could just push him off. Yeah, that's true. Um, so this is a supply locker. We'll see these constantly. And I've actually stashed the stuff he was carrying in the supply locker to make room for more. Because he's got a tiny backpack. I don't know where all the stuff they went camping with is. But I guess they're just carrying this now. Maybe they were, you know, sleeping all huddled up for warmth like hamsters. Oh, yeah? You know nothing, Marcus Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do a very good Scottish accent. <laughs> Whatever it is, Yorkshire. Mm -hmm. It's very north. Anyway, that was the map. Like and to point identify points on the map um, more specifically, you can climb survey points, which I'm doing now. You can climb faster. There's a climb faster button. And so you okay. can look through. The look point right. is to get the little reticule kind of over the question There's mark and he'll say what it is. And he kind of comments on stuff. I don't know if that has a meaning like the more interesting buildings he'll stay stuff about, but we're going to look at all of them anyway. Hi, Ed. Look at him. Hey, man. He, he's helping. You are... Just, just an amazingly unhandsome man. <laughs> so you'll see on the left, there's like a little meter filling up. Oh, okay, yeah. Yep. And so when that's full, you're done. I am not certain that that was actually there when I actually played the game. Hmm. I don't know if that was I remember there. it always being there, but... <sighs> Maybe I just didn't notice it. <laughs> you could just be bad at video games. <laughs> I'm not a very good <laughs> surveyor, that's for sure. Uh, so you can see he's sort of specifically identified what these things are, and somehow he knew that one of those campsites had nothing in it. That's the X. So we actually have two tasks now, to go check the cabins, or to go check out those gunshots. Go, oh, Ed! push Ed off the side. <laughs> Ed! Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> That's a long drop! <laughs> he's just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> he probably didn't even bend his knees. It's my powerful accounting thighs. <laughs> his, his anger squats. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this bank rig doesn't balance. I'm gonna do some squats. Um, I actually really like the sort of cooperative combat thing. Um... You, can, you don't have to throw yourself into danger because you can let your companion do that. Uh, sometimes they're kind of dumb, though. And I'm actually playing 
uh, a little recklessly um, in general because it's funnier and better when you play badly. But also, you can't actually kill these guys right now, so I'm just... I don't care about That's some nice ass covering, welfare. Scooby. <laughs> <laughs> if I Shut play up. badly, it's because I mean to. <laughs> Shut up. It's true. Fuck, I wish I could get away with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the learning experience. Oh, so of course. You, you'll see now that I've fully checked that tent, there's a little white circle around it. That's kind of like a safety zone. No zombies will spawn within that circle, but they can still oh, wander in. Yeah, so you can't, like, go through the backpack, it's just anything that's glowy? Anything that's glowy is something that you can search, um, and you can search slowly and quietly, or you can push a button to search more quickly, but at the risk of making a loud noise, which draws zombies, and possibly breaking something useful, um, which you oh. then won't get, which is the thing that makes the noise. Um, but... Since I have a companion, I don't care about making noise right now. And we've actually been lucky and we found a large backpack, which means he can carry more. Oh, and it, it, I mean, his actual backpack didn't get appreciably larger, but... No, well, it's kind of bigger. I like how there's backpacks sitting around, but you can't, like, take them. You can only look inside them. Like, maybe, yeah. they, maybe they smell bad or something. Somebody left a grilled cheese in the bottom. <laughs> So that's what's going on. There's a... Somebody's getting rumbled. Yeah. And there's a gang nearby. They're just waiting for something. <laughs> well, we'll go help that person. Yeah, that guy went to the wrong part of town. He went to Little Zombie Land. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful when you're jumping off stuff, because they get hurt pretty easily. He lost a little bit of health doing that. Didn't break an ankle, though, which is good. No, I've actually fallen off the top of really tall things, and it almost kills them. <laughs> oh, man. It, like, puts their character out of commission for a while. That's a fair number of dudes! Look at them! They're running in sync! <laughs> and I mistimed my throw here because I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Normally that, that would have killed them. <laughs> so... We're actually getting overwhelmed here, but we've got a secret weapon. Um, what's the one thing that every human can do? The one trick zombies hate. I... <laughs> Kangaroo kicks? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that... That's the single most effective attack in the game, Is probably. Mark is a pro wrestler? Like... <laughs> Everybody can do it though, that's the thing. If you that's have amazing. Been in, if you've I want to see your grandpa do that. <laughs> you mean a I'm not sure. I mean, you can see Ed do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway. Oh. Well, she's the sassy one. Yeah, she's, she's sassy. Just save your life, and she's being <laughs> sarcastic. Uh -huh. They let her do it though because she's got some nice tights on. Oh, of course, she's rocking the Lululemon, so like, all right. we got kind of volunteered. This is a very dumb. Like, I don't actually believe that uh, they've been to Pamplona to run with the bulls. Is that a thing that accountants do? Uh, like adventure sports? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Well, I'm wrong then. Oh yeah, every accountant's got a death wish. <laughs> You don't just see skulls and things. Mmm, it's true. Well, hey, I had a CFO who used to play Russian roulette. That's a lie. Well, not really. It was with a Nerf gun, but still. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's slightly better. <laughs> <laughs> just gives you a nasty sting. I don't know, whatever. These guys look like a couple of young, well-to-do professional men, so... Yeah. The kind of guys who go camping for fun. And go to Pamplona. Um, so we can actually switch to Maya now because we've sort of gained her trust. Um, I don't know why we can't switch to Ed, technically. There's a reason why, but for now we can't. He's not our 100% friend, I guess, and Maya is. <laughs> you don't get to control Ed. No. Ed's his own man. He's a free spirit. Man, she's got a vicious hand axe. She's good with the hatchet. That was a duck that comes in very useful. 
Um, not only for dodging zombies, but for dodging your companions when they're blocking a doorway. Oh, cool. <laughs> just like, excuse me? Yep. I'll just clip right through you now. So I skipped a little bit, and we're going to check out the campsite. And I skipped a lot of this, but I have to show some of them to give everybody the general idea. How this and this is pretty much the flow of gameplay. Mm-hmm. Like, in between missions, you'll go around and find supplies. And... Yeah, a lot of the game is about just searching around and finding supplies. If you really want to zip through the game, you don't do so much of it, but um, the longer you want to camp out and not finish the game, the more you have to scrounge. And you'll see that when she's scrounged it, there's an X there, and um, resources never regenerate once you've searched a place. That's it. That's all the stuff that you got. Hmm. So there's a finite amount of resources in the game. I see you got a gun. Yes, because um, campsites are good for guns and backpacks and things like flares. So we just got a gun from the gun case. Um, and if that was like a cooler, we probably would have gotten food. And the gas can way back, we got a um, petrol bomb. So you see the gunshot. <laughs> That's what the game calls it. Um, <laughs> so you see we uh, drew some zombies with our gunshot there, and that's why guns are almost useless in this game. Because they're loud. Kind of follows the Walking Dead logic. Yeah, I mean, there's ones with silencers, but it's, oh my it's almost God. just as easy to just hit them in the face. A silenced face. gun <laughs> in a zombie game, so good. There's like a hundred guns in the game. Oh, man. I don't know why. It kind of gets infuriating when you're like, more guns. So I'm going to do something here to draw the zombies out of the building. Big talk! <laughs> For a big man. And then they come out. Oh! That's the secret to not getting jumped when you go inside of a dark building. In general, even. Not even just <laughs> zombies. A little positive reinforcement. <laughs> and that one's stuck. Oh. oh, not anymore. Yep, now she left. Bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I'm not alone in here. Oh, and that guy came in. We hit him. And there actually are different kinds of attacks, but uh, we haven't really powered these guys up. So, um, nice. they just have the really basic stuff. Eventually they can specialize in weapon types and, you know, they'll unlock special abilities and things. But for now, it's it's just all jumping double kicks all the time. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right. The zombie's like, what the fuck you call me? Taunts are great. <laughs> oh, my God. This is seriously the most redneck thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking call a guy an asshole and then kangaroo <laughs> kick him in the chest. <laughs> It does take place out in the country. Oh my god, this is backyard wrestling. This is beautiful. <laughs> you just throw wait. Throw him through a like, folding <laughs> table. <laughs> you just wait. Talking about wrestling. You'll see. You think? What's next? Razor wire? So these guys have pretty much just accepted that anybody they see they can kill. And anything that isn't alive they can take. Hmm. Which seems logical to me. That's what I do when I go camping. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying! <laughs> so we actually switched to Maya really briefly there, um, so she could grab the pills, because Marcus is out of room. And uh. now you see his tree branch is damaged, so we trashed it and picked up a new weapon. Whoa! And this is me fast-forwarding past the boring bits. <laughs> I actually really enjoy the sound of whacking the zombies, and the music gets kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of hilarious. <laughs> Chew on this, motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's some good editing. Fast motion is such cheap <laughs> comedy, but it's so effective. I'm not going to be doing this very much. I'll just straight cut stuff out, but, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't be so hasty. 
This is kind of the best. This was like 12 minutes of gameplay, so... It got like a weird like midi baroque kind of sound to the music. It does, especially with the chipmunk <laughs> battle cries. <laughs> pow, 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 pow. So you can see we've cleared out the campgrounds. That one building actually isn't a building, it's a uh, it's like a picnic overhang. There's nothing there. Oh, I see. But generally, if you see a gray square, it's a building you can clear out. So we're heading back now. We've we've accomplished um what we came here for. We found a buddy, we got some supplies. No worse for the wear. Emotionally damaged, but healthy. Any sense of empathy you might have held for other human beings might have been destroyed, but... I you said you had survivors mm. Hey, you got a shotgun. They were fine. I sure did. Oh, now everyone's dead. Yep. Ooh, everyone's dead. nicely guys, disemboweled. Guys, mm -hmm. come on. Some pros. Put some pro water ballooning. Ah, <sighs> they didn't <laughs> skeletonize them, though. Well, it's but there's like no... It's just like they took a bite, and they're like, oh, this guy's French. Then they just moved on. Like, there's not actually yeah. any enemies in here. Those three terrifying assholes are coming <laughs> back. Let's get out of here, Zombros. I like that my window is still boarded up, what the though. Hell, Ed? <laughs> <laughs> Your one window. <laughs> I guess I should have boarded up more of them, huh? <laughs> sure wasn't enough, was it? <laughs> So oh. um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leap to Ed's rescue. But <laughs> <laughs> just like oh what's up man you okay? I can't you it's too close. <laughs> <laughs> Kill Steel oh, and Maya. I swear to God that guy he was dead. She's that kind of person. How the hell does that happen? I don't know mm -hmm. man. Now he's bit. We can't. I don't know. We live in a world where zombie movies don't exist. <laughs> Gonna put him out of his... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's not too bit to be a goddamn kung fu master. Nope. Look at his face. <laughs> like, hey, man, stop. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ip Man, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, no, what did she do? <laughs> I was just checking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have to actually switch back to Maya because Marcus is still full. I don't have enough space for this. I don't have enough space for this. Where am I gonna put that? Um, the talking gets really repetitive in this game. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna address that, but I can't pick that up. Yep. Come on, switch to Maya. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, do I still have bullets? <laughs> oh, I didn't save one for myself. Fuck. Ah. <sighs> Now I'm stuck with, mmm, big crybaby Ed got housing. bit. <laughs> I broke the number one rule of you don't miss zombie apocalypse. You. Save yourself anyway, a bullet. We're on our of course. So now we're getting a little bit of Maya's backstory. What you see me? You see Coltner Strand? Do the math. She's not happy about her friends getting it. Uh, are you sure? I mean, they could have, like, eloped, maybe. <gasps> maybe she oh. killed them. Oh, wow. It's very mysterious. They actually say very little about any of the characters in this game, which I think is hopefully going to be a source for participation and entertainment for the people watching oh. the thread. Oh, well, creativity <laughs> challenge. That's right. We know almost nothing about any of these guys. So, where are we going? I don't know. I guess we just head to town and try to find somebody. Yeah. Oh, God, that is brutal. <laughs> Well, I kind of took that guy's walkie-talkie. Maybe we can mm -hmm. yeah, just on kind of rubbed the dead guy when he hit me, which was totally unfair. I don't yep. know. I figured if he had a Go ahead, duck. Good job, Maya. <laughs> All right. Just got her hatchet. And you expect his friends to help us out? Wait, who says they're his friends? I mean, maybe they didn't even really like the guy. Dad? Dad, are you there? <gasps> hmm. Whoops. Oh, shit. Uh. Ed might be an oh. asshole. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> He might be. It's possible. Listen, we're stuck up here on Mount Tanner. My friend needs medical attention. Can All right. Um, and this is essentially just uh, a lot of talking, so we're just going to talk over them. One of the cool things about this game is that um, you see there's a car out there. Mm -hmm. 
the cars are another sort of finite resource. You don't need gas for them, but if you like blow one up, it's gone forever. And if you park it someplace, the game will remember where you parked it. Um, I don't have enough and if you sort of drop resources someplace, it'll remember where you dropped them. So you can actually um, build like a car barricade and things like that if you want to, because cars will stay where you put them. Which is pretty awesome. I like that a yeah, lot. It's nice. Um, I mean, there's sort of caveats to everything, but you just have to be careful of uh, getting too far away from a car sometimes is pretty dangerous. Mm, but yeah. a good challenge is to run across the map <laughs> without a car <laughs> and see if you get killed or not. <laughs> but then you miss out on my absolute favorite part of the game. Which is what? Mm, I wonder if you will show it off at some uh, point. No, this I don't video. show it. I don't show it in this video. <laughs> oh well, then I will save it as a delightful surprise because yeah. it is the funniest thing it in the entire funny. game. If you're watching this, don't say anything. <laughs> yeah. I actually went around to the wrong side of the truck at first because I live in England and that's the side that you go on. God, you've gotten so naturalized. Mm, which side of the video game car do I go on? <laughs> Calling shit petrol bombs. That's what the game called it. It's called a Molotov. There's that's a separate weapon. Is it? <laughs> yeah. But for, for, for some reason, that's, that's what you make out of alcohol and petrol bombs. Petrol. So this is how you kill multiple zombies while you're in a car. I'm good. It didn't do anything. I don't know why he said that. <laughs> Maybe he just like ripped a fart and he's just like, "That'll be with you guys in a second. I'm awesome at this." He thought it would be masked by the smell of exploding water balloons. <laughs> this is not this this is not spin tires. What are you doing? <laughs> well, the bridge was out, so this was our only option, really. And toot toot. See, and you can see that it's making a lot of noise. So I'm drawing all the zombies to me so I can back over them. Never run over a horde of zombies from the front if you're in one of the cars because that will damage the car a lot. Yeah. Whereas, I guess it, the back isn't very important, so you can hit a lot of zombies from behind. I did not know that, actually. I, I lost a lot of cars during my brief playthrough of this. <laughs> Ed, why are you saying that to Marcus? He's your best friend. <laughs> I was threatening him with a board with nails in it. You did shoot at him like four <laughs> times. I think it was only three. It's lucky he's got cat-like <laughs> reflexes. Yeah. Well, look at him. He's kicking and fighting. He can't be hurt that bad. Maybe it's just ripping open his bite wound. Uh, his arm's gonna fall off and he's gonna maybe. be like, I don't think I fucked up, man. I don't think it's bad. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it. Then you could take his arm and use it as a weapon. Against him. <laughs> Hit him with his own arm. <laughs> what the hell's happening? Um. Oh man, I was gonna say something, but I can't no remember. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Say we've been out of the loop. So this is some backstory. Crazy people tried to eat us. It started what, twelve, thirteen And uh, it's kind of boring. And Lily, you get to hear a lot of in the game because she's a radio operator. And eventually, I'm gonna download a mod that makes her be quiet. <laughs> oh, no, nice. <laughs> um, the cars, of course, have different um, stats. Yes. And that one that I just passed is actually pretty good for just sort of scooting around in. Yeah. Uh, best best car in the game, of course, is the the knockoff T Bird. God, I love oh, that car. Oh yeah, the yeah. We won't find one of those for a little while. It is a little ways in. There's Sorry for like spoiling the cheaper the version. There's like the Camaro version that you can get. Um, Maybe that's the one that I found. Well, there's a old kind of beat up one, and then there's a nice new one. Yeah. So, but the nice the way, new one is. is uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's. The one, I think. And then you just handbrake, just get through a bunch of zombies. <laughs> it's just like yeah. And then you fly off a cliff and you die in the explosion. So, how do you end up on this? If you're not paying attention, like we're not, um, yeah. she's just saying everything went kind of crazy, and the government wasn't helping, and there was no information, so we're hiding out. It's so pretty standard zombie story. Yep, that's the story. We killed her father. 
and stole his mm-hmm. radio before they uh, Marcus, the, the mic the mic is live, dude. The, the mic oh that's that's gonna be oh, awkward no. when you get there. Yeah. See I went to the right side of the truck this time. Hey, good job. <laughs> this You're is actually another ways. really good vehicle that I like in the night. Trucks are badass. <laughs> You just say that as a hillbilly. Shut up! <laughs> the cop cars are good, actually, because you can turn on the siren. They're good for drawing zombies out. But you can start yeah. to see houses and stuff. I'm going to pop up the map really fast here. Um, so that's where we're headed. Yeah. And that's the rest of the map. So there's actually a lot you can explore. That little car on the left was the old sort of T-bird. And uh, here we are. <laughs> 